we have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Not this time. I've got a backstage pass for you to get up close and personal with my weapon of mass percussion. Come ready to rock. What? Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look back at a game I got way back during the pandemic to play with my son with Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. With the recent acquisition of Activision Blizzard King, Toys for Bob is one of the studios that went independent from Microsoft, and I wondered what happened to that Crash game that I got to play with my son on that Nintendo Switch. After his first five minutes, my son hated the game, and he really wasn't into platforming at that time. And being the good parent that I was, I just saw the game as a colorful game for kids. After getting a lot of other Mario games later on under his belt over the years, it was time to test his skills once again to see if anything changed. Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, was developed by Toys for Bob and released by Activision for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One in 2020, and then the Nintendo Switch, Windows PC, Xbox Series X and S, and the PlayStation 5 in 2021. As the eighth installment in the series, the game retains the platforming gameplay that does add new elements incorporated with previous installments like Quantum Masks. You do have the ability to play with five different characters and does change the approach you take on different level designs that adds to the gameplay. Never tried a volcano lair. Do good guys have volcano lairs? Hmm. The story has villains from the past who crash defeats that messes with the multiverse that open rifts to the past and crash and friends need to fix the space-time disruptions. The story is told through amazing cutscenes that are animated beautifully. For me, I was amazed how well the character move, animate, emote emotions, and is presented beautifully throughout the entire game. I love this part of the game and can't say enough on the cutscenes. But you'll have to defeat my deadly diabolical creations along the way! <laughs> in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what, did we like die or something? What? No! Nope. No, but no. Definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> the usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. The gameplay is tight and responsive, even playing on the Switch, which does not have the high frame rate modes like the PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles. The last Crash game I did play was the original on the OG PlayStation, and this game mixes pseudo 3D and 2D levels that do test your timing, memorization of the levels, and dying and repeating a lot. And I mean a lot. The game can be punishing at times, but once you do beat them, there is a level of accomplishment to continue to move forward. The visuals and art direction look fantastic and does show a higher level of craft here. I was very surprised how polished this game looked as every level had its own identity, theme, and unique design that really pops with its colors and, like I said before, some of the best animations and story cutscenes I have ever seen. It honestly looks like an animated film from Pixar that I'd watch in the theaters. Overall, Crash 4 is a wonderful game to play and experience. The game can be tough and there were times where my son and I 
played levels way more than we wanted to. Honestly, the game isn't something that I will revisit anytime soon, and I'm pretty sure my son feels the same way, but the craft that the developers were able to deliver cannot be denied. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its fantastic visuals, presentation, and art direction throughout the game that does employ some really tough levels that take a lot of precision gameplay to get by. That's it for this look at Crash 4. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Wow, you know, I'm, I'm sensing a real fraught history here. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. Damn.